I mean, I think the biggest question that I have for you is, um, you know, I think a lot of people have this question is, who are you? I am the wolf brother. <laughs> so angry. <laughs> we we'll, we'll eat everybody. Fighting out of the blue corner, an undefeated big martial artist, holding a perfect professional record, six wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, comes at Boss Dubaya. Fear. Wait. John Bill is a tool. He's one of the underdog out of the cell pass stands in black homicide. Oh, oh my shot. But when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. You said here during fight week, you need an opponent, and that's all you need, and those words certainly prove true tonight. Congratulations on a huge debut, man. I want to fight next week. Doesn't matter when. Is that today, tomorrow. Is One that more fight. I'm so hungry. Is that what you said to UFC President Dana White? You're going to stay yeah. here in Abu Dhabi, yeah? If you have fight, give me fight. There was a lot of excitement about your debut, and people were excited. What was your feeling coming in? Were, were there nerves at all? Did you get No, I never nervous for the fight. I love that. I did from the ball. I'm from, born from Chechnya. Uh, it, I'm born for that. I want to smash everybody. I love this. Take money, smash somebody. It's amazing. I know before you got to the UFC, you had beaten a couple of undefeated fighters. Did anything feel bigger about this spotlight and, and the no, UFC show? It's the same shit. It's people like me, but I work harder. Hard, hard work, like my coach say. Hard work, easy money, coach. <laughs> If you go up like with these things, you know, war and uh, after nobody wanna see this again, you know. Like some people never get, uh, see that war and don't go up there. They think like you know, like yeah, it's normal when you see on TV like movie, you know. But when you're there, you don't wanna be there. I mean, is this just? E is this game easy for you? Is MMA just an easy sport for you? <laughs> of course it's easy for me. I'm born from the, this country when I was a kid. Like, it was war in my country. Uh, like everybody knows Chechnya, say, like before how they was. And I'm, I like to fight like, in the cage and smash somebody. It's too easy. <laughs> Yeah, too easy. I do smash somebody, you get money, brother. It's <laughs> perfect for me. On to our main card on ESPN and ESPN Plus, and we welcome back after just 10 days Hamzat Borj Chemaev. He goes against the newcomer Reese Skeletor McKee. One of your opponents, your first opponent, Hamza Chimaev. Um, how good is is Hamza Chimaev? Like, what did you? What was your biggest takeaway from that fight on him as a fighter? But Chimaev was like, he was like a knife through butter with me. You know, I had no like again. I wasn't clear, like I was too slow to everything. But um, he was just very ahead. He was very fast. Into the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in officially one hundred seventy and one half pounds. His professional record: ten victories with two defeats and one draw. Finally got a bout in being on Northern Ireland. Here is Reese Skeletor McKee. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He's a freestyle wrestler, standing six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in 171 pounds. 
in seven professional fights. He is perfect with seven victories and no defeats. Finally got a stuck call swimming by way of Chechnya, Russia. Yes, he undefeated. Comes out. Kimaev against Reese Skeletor okay, McKee. Jim, ready, ready. Let's go. And oh. straight away, rated. You see Hamzat shoots it. Ultimately, he gets him where he wants him. Oh, he's turning, he's got that wrist control. Look at this control from Chimaev. In that Chimaev just no, UFC no, debut, one judge gave him a 10 7 for that wow. first round. We don't see many of those. Uh, Aranches Emmett, CB Dolloway, Mirza Salim, which is a fight we have a right fist. here with some big blows here early in the first. Looking to find some ways of getting back to his feet. He might oh. have to eat a couple of these on his way up. Yeah, I can do that again. I mean, this is Khabib-like pressure. This is unbelievable right now. Let's get out of here! Get out of here! That might be it. Just let's do that. It's another win for Hamzat Chimaev. Here's a Ways as well. 2 0 in the UFC, 8 0 professionally. We have ourselves a new star. I mean, what an impressive performance that was. Unfortunately, we have no fights here next week, so we can't hang out for another one. <laughs> he's taken no punches. I mean, what's that in two fights? He's taken no punches. Referee Rich Mitchell puts a halt to the belt. Your winner by TKO and still undefeated, Hamzat Boz With that victory, Kamzat Shemaev has the quickest turnaround victory in UFC history at just 10 days. Congratulations, I see two wins in 10 days, a UFC record for victories. I mean, what's the emotion like for you after these two wins? I feel amazing, like I said, 10 days before. I'm so happy to be here, make history. If they have some history, just tell me I'm gonna take this. Just go back to before you made your UFC debut. C can you can you imagine? Could you have pictured it to be like this? Did you think it would be like this? Yeah, but uh, when I start MMA, I always think I'm gonna be champion in, in the UFC. But I, I, it's now it's going so crazy fast, you know. It's, see, I was thinking I was gonna be like that, always. The guy's special. He's, I've been in this game my whole life. I've never seen anything like him. I'm, so when you, all the fights that I've had, you've had guys that'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn around. I want to turn around fast. And, you know, let me go, see, let me see how I feel tomorrow. Let me talk to my team. Let me do this. Let me do that. This guy's like, I want to fight again here on Fight Island. I was like, really? So you, you want to fight again while we're here? And he's like, yeah. So I turned him around. I called everybody and said, I'm going to do it. We're going to turn this kid around. And I believe on the TV you said you want to be the, the world champion at two weight classes. So is that the goal already? Yeah, of course. Why not? I'm ready for that. I'm born for that. My life is for to be champion. Congrats, man. Thanks. And now let us say hello to UFC middleweight Gerald Merchard, who we found out late last week will be fighting against Hamzat Shamayev. Apparently my, uh, one of my buddies heard him say something about he was going to smash my face, but again, trying to talk trash to somebody while you're wearing a mask yeah, and gonna walking in a different direction. Because I say that, I'm going to smash your face. How are you going to stop I'm that? I'm sure you think How are you going to stop that, yo? What was your reaction when you got the name Hamza Chemaev as, as your next opponent. Obviously, I'm assuming you, you have now heard of him, right? Oh yeah, I saw his fights, I heard of him, and as soon as they told me, I was like, yes, most definitely yes. Why most definitely yes? I, I would imagine there are a lot of people who might not say that right now after seeing his first two UFC fights. Do you think that you're a black belt? If you choke me out, I'll find a black belt, give it to you, how about that? If I choke you out, you are finished with this sport. Uh, because I'm tied for the most submissions in the middleweight division in the UFC, Ariel. I am the kryptonite to his Superman, all right? Everything he does well, I can turn that into a bad situation for him. And I'm gonna show everyone that on September 19th. I'm coming in, I'm the crafty vet. I'm a tough guy and I'm gonna show him that you, this time you bit off more than you can chew. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Gerald Mershart and Hamzat Chimaev. And so, the hunt begins again. Chimaev, a prohibited minus Gerald, 450 ready? betting favorite. Hamzat, ready? Mershart on. is plus 360. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Mershart, out of South Southpaw stands in blue. Chimaev, orthodox in black. Maya straight on the pressure, like he always does. Oh, 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 just like that, comes up to Maya, one and done. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! He can't say much other than wow. At 17 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by knockout, Hamzat Bors Jamal. How was that? Congratulations. Thank you. That was uh, pretty impressive. Uh, I can't imagine you'd have much criticism of yourself tonight. So how did you feel about your performance this evening? Feel good. <laughs> feel good to knock him out. A guy like this is the type of guy that you love to watch and follow and hate, you know, and, and, and whatever it might be. This, is, this guy is one of the most special fighters I've ever seen, if not the most special guy that I've ever come across. And he kept telling me leading up to this fight, you think I'm a wrestler. You think I'm a wrestler. Wait till you see my hands. Holy <laughs> He wasn't lying. Were you, were you going in there a little angry wanting to prove something? I always angry to smash somebody and knock him out like I did now. But nothing personal. Like, it's sport. You have to talk, you have to take him in Norway, like he was, I see he was, when I look at his eyes, he was in Norway, like in the cage when I look at him, he don't want to be there, I said that directly. Did you feel like this crazy growth of popularity? Popularity, I'm not for this, I'm happy that I worked these dollars and now I'm in the head like a fish. My mother died recently, and I died recently. Ну, перед этим я сказал маме, я буду зарабатывать скоро большие деньги, иншалла, все будет хорошо. Мама просто так сказала, если бы были бы у тебя сейчас эти деньги. Ну, тетя умерла, иншалла, она в раю. И, и, и чтобы больше не допускать такого, чтобы у меня были деньги, все, все. Я рад, что у меня все так получается. Амбилля. versus the wolf, let's see who eats who. What is your response to that? I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> if you focus on what he's gonna do, you're gonna do something. But if you focus on what you're gonna do, you're gonna do everything with him. So how does your fight end on Saturday? I'm gonna eat him up, like I do always. Nine fights, nine finishes. Live from Etihad Arena here in beautiful Abu Dhabi. 
Fight fans, we welcome you to UFC 267. Here we go, three rounds. This is the UFC welterweight division. Fighting out of the blue corner. Here is the undefeated Hamza Bars Chimayev. Scoot back, scoot back. Intensity personified ready, ready, on both sides. This fight clock is brought to you by Fitness Coach App. That he'd be dealing with a lot of this. He's trying to get around. Nice job. He pulled the leech off of the cage so he can get to the back and put that hook in. The leech eating a lot of big shots here, trying to control the wrist, but may need to defend the strikes. Yeah, the leech is oh, no, no, no. Oh, under the chin here. Yeah, he's, oh, he's trying to get his back fully. He doesn't got it. You are proven to be a problem for everybody you're in the octagon with. Who would you like to see next when you step into the octagon? Everybody, everybody. I come in for everybody. Kill everybody. I'm the champ. I'm the king. Kill What are you talking about? Are you, is it uh, Ramadan finished, yeah? Yeah, the Ramadan finished. We started the same, but no. <laughs> what are you pulling my hand up for? Look how I'm stabbing me. I mean, what a love affair you guys have right now. I mean, have you guys left each other's side in the last couple of months? I guess you came to England for a couple of days, right, Darren? But otherwise, yeah. it's yeah. all, to, uh, you guys are together the whole time. Shit, guys, don't do much, but we have to show real fight. Oh, no, yeah, I I'll fight you, of course, you know I will. But you, you know I beat you, right? You know I beat you easy. <laughs> you know this. He left me two days. So I left him two days, and look what happens when I come back. Yeah. He fucking beats the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't do any more of that shit, bro. I won't tell you. <laughs> if you shave your hair, become a better wrestler. And shave mustache. You want me to grow this yeah, and shave yeah. that? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You think Chachin is colder than Liverpool? Yeah, bro. Wolf, <laughs> How did you guys even link up? How did this whole, uh, this whole romance kind of start? Hold on from me. <laughs> so now it's, it's Team Smash Bros for life. Gonna take over, aren't we? Kill everybody. Smash everybody. <laughs> <laughs> What was your impression of Darren when you first met him, when you first trained with him, Hamzat? The only day, he was like, first time when he came there, I was like, very bad, no, not very, very bad shape, you know, like he could score one minute and he gets like, <laughs> done, you know, like, he go all in the first minute and then he was done, you know? but he didn't give up. I'm Conor McGregor. <laughs> I'm Conor McGregor. I spoke to some of the guys and comes out was like, come and train brother, you know, I'm gonna get you back up, you know, motivated and, and, and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, so I spoke to my, my team back home, Team Carbon, they were, they were okay with everything, kind of, you 
you know, here I am, and uh, you know what? It's, it's, it's. I know me and Hamza are together, and we're like, everyone's loving the gym, but it's such an honour to be training here at All Stars and, and with Hamza. I mean, you've been around this game for a long time at this point. You've seen people come into the sport, get hyped. But I mean, what do you make of this? Because it feels like people are just ready to write you off and be like, you're just the next victim. You know what I mean? Is that bizarre to you or do you take offense to that? I don't mind. I like to be the underdog. I beat the underdog in one of my last maybe five, six fights. So, To be honest, it, it doesn't matter, like, right? It doesn't matter what people think about you. It matters what you think about you. So. It doesn't matter. It matters what I think, what my team thinks, what my family thinks. They all believe in me. They always, they all support me. So that's the ones that count. Any extra pressure? I mean, do you feel pressure at all? I mean, all this attention on you so early in your career, and it seems like you have to be perfect and destructive every time out there. Do you feel any of that? No, nothing. Uh, it's the same shit. I'm gonna go in there. Uh... Not that guy, you know, if you have some pressure, give me, I broke that. All right, Jacksonville, Florida, great to be with you. Good to be back here in Duval County. I'm John Anik. Thank you all for coming out today. Who has the first question? Let's go. This is a question for Hamzat. Hamzat. I saw that you bumped into Gilbert in the hotel last night. I'm curious, were you able to take anything out of that meeting? Yeah. Oh, I'll show you, I'll I'm gonna smash that guy, knock him out one minute, Wes. I promise. He's too little, boy. He's doing, can't wait. Scary, scared, boy, you know. And I said to him yesterday, show his power. And he turned around, you know. I was there. <laughs> Mr. Burns. You, even though you are the second round welterweight, you are still the underdog. What's your comment on being the underdog? Of course, he's underdog. Oh, King is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! He said, "Oh, he's mad." Oh, yes. he hit the table. See you Saturday, buddy. I mean, I think the biggest question that I have for you is, um, you know, I think a lot of people have this question is, who are you? <laughs> I am the wolf, brother. <laughs> so <Whoa>. hungry. <laughs> we will really eat everybody, brother. Crazy. 
official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28 for the winner and still undefeated. the biggest surprise from him was it his, his power his durability his grappling what 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 was surprising about him to you it wasn't not like something surprised from him but this was wrong for me a coach told me all the time slow, slow down and work more technical i just want to like take his head off you know this wasn't easy. <laughs> no, <laughs> tough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. When's the last time you saw a guy come out of nowhere, right? Nobody knows who he is, comes out of nowhere, then then fights a couple fights and then fights the number two ranked guy in the world and wins. At the end of the second round, Teddy Atlas said, we know what Hamzat Chemaev has on the outside when it comes to talent. We're about to find out what he's got on the inside now. He's a lone, he's a lone wolf. He trains everyone to the ground. He grinds everyone away. Many have come, many have tried their recipe of success, but many failed. There's something special, you know, like fighter culture. But I think most of the fighters, they come from nothing. That's the only thing where they see opportunity, where they see light, you know. And they choose this way. They choose this way. So how long did you live here? Almost two years. Two years in that room? Yeah. What was that like? Okay. Old home. <laughs> you feel home right now? Yeah, comfortable, yeah. Woo! 